Now, Betsy DeVos is still somehow the Secretary of Education, despite knowing very, very little about the job that she's actually supposed to be doing. Now, to be fair, she has had some time to learn about her job and to figure out what she's doing. She came into it never actually going to a public school and not really knowing anything about public education. So, okay, look, her background obviously makes her very, very unqualified, but in this amount of time, you'd think that she would be able to pick up a, a few things and try to understand the huge, huge responsibility that running the Department of Education actually is, right? Well, we'll see. Uh, we'll see if she's actually learned a few things. Now, uh, and we'll see that in action because uh, she, is re uh, she, she is actually in Washington, D.C. And she had had a meeting, or I should say a hearing, with Congress. Well, these are always fun, right? So now I've got some video here uh, where we're going to see if she has taken the opportunity to be better on the issues, starting with civil rights. Now, Representative Marsha Fudge is going to ask her some pretty basic questions about the civil rights uh, program in our public school system. So let's take a look at that question and then, uh, and then her answer. And See if she's got any good answers. Watch. Now, I am concerned about the low performance of your civil rights office. Could you please just state for me the mission of the, your civil rights office? Thanks, Congresswoman, for the question. The Office for Civil Rights is committed to protecting the civil rights as determined under the law of this land. And we do so proudly and with uh, great um, focus each day. That's not the mission statement. Do, do you know what it is? Perhaps you that's could share that's it. Okay. I, I have not memorized no, that's okay. the mission statement. <laughs> do you even know what the mission statement of your department is? Uh, I have not memorized it. No. Um, it, but by the way, I mean, I, I love her answer to the first one is, we do so proudly under uh, and with great focus each day. <laughs> okay. Uh, but anyway, for the record, I do actually have the mission statement here. It says OCR's mission is to ensure equal access to education to promote educational excellence through vigorous enforcement of civil rights in our nation's schools. So again, that's what the mission uh, statement is of the OCR, the Department of Education. You know where I found that on? The website for the Department of Education. I know it's a strange place for it to be, but somehow it's there. It was a 10 second Google search, but okay, look, okay, whatever, right? Not too terribly important to memorize it to the letter, fine. Now what's important is what you do to make sure that you actually do promote that and make sure that everybody has equal access to education and to promote educational excellence, right? Now, Fudge is actually going to ask a question about that next. Now, get a load of her answer. Please explain for me what you would believe to be vigorous enforcement of civil rights in the context of schools today. It would be following the law and enforcing the law as stated. Okay. So do you, you, you do believe that the Office of Civil Rights is following those, the procedures that were put in force since 1964, the Civil Rights Act of 1964? I'm sorry, I, do I believe that the office is following yes. that law? Yes, yes, indeed, I do. And what leads you to believe they are? I'm confident that the team assembled there, both of career staff, dedicated career staff, and political staff, has continued to focus on the, on, the, on doing so um, with great professionalism. So how do you do it if you continue to try to dismantle and, and, and defund the, the office? I'm not understanding. We haven't done any such thing. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. She's very, very confident that they are doing their job. So, so don't worry. Don't worry. Well, you know why she's confident that they're doing their job? Because she doesn't have to do it. She's not doing her job, so she doesn't know. She has no idea. <laughs> I mean, again, she couldn't explain what 
vigorous enforcement means of civil rights in schools, making sure that everybody gets equal access to uh, education, to a good education. Now, uh, for example, to be, uh, I guess, a uh, devil's advocate, right? Now, she could have easily tied in her support for charter schools and making sure that everyone has equal access. Well, at my charter school or at these private schools, we can always make sure that everybody is treated equally. And here what we're doing uh, at the Department of Education in trying to give more grants to charter schools uh, is we're targeting people who are primarily African-American who don't have access to these kinds of uh, good schools. And we're allowing them through our grants to be able to access these schools so they can have an equal education to their white peers. Now, that's a simple answer, and that actually is an answer that she could have given in the context of public school. Now, look, what she could do to increase access, of course, uh, to good public schools is maybe change the funding models uh, and, you know, try to enforce uh, equal access that way. Or to go back to something that she could... Uh, and that a lot of conservatives believe in is so-called school choice, not keeping your kid in uh, particular school zip codes, I should say, not having your zip code determine what school you go into. So you could choose to say, well, look, I don't want to go to this poor school, you know, uh, as a minority, I would like to go to a school that is more well-funded. So I will choose to go to this school instead and allow people to have the, the choice to be able to do that. Well, okay, those are ways that they could enforce civil rights uh, in schools or at least allow people through a conservative lens to actually be able to do, uh, you know, to, to equalize outcomes, to make sure that everybody has the same kind of access to a good education. But what was her answer? None of that. <laughs> she says, well, all we have to do is just follow the law and enforce the law as stated. No changes. N nothing different uh, in the public school sphere. If you're conservative, that should be a, a a really, really poor answer. Look, as a progressive, I think this is a really, really poor answer. That she knows absolutely nothing about what she's doing. But if you're a conservative, you should also be embarrassed. Because she didn't even for, uh, put forward your ideas on how to improve schools. But the reason that she does this is that she doesn't care. Okay? So... I mean, look, nobody believes that um, that she is actually doing what's best for public schools, right? Nobody believes that she is actually enforcing the things that need to be enforced. Nobody believes anything that she says. She doesn't even believe what she says because she has no idea what she's doing. Everybody knows that she has essentially bought her seat. And the reason that she bought that scene is so she could go and 100% completely privatize schools. Take all the money, all the tax money that goes into public schools, and funnel it into religious private charter schools. That's it. And she can't even make her case for that. Not even here. I mean, that's the whole reason she's there. All this stuff about civil rights, it's not important enough for her to warrant a simple 10-second Google search. It's not that she's incapable. It's not that she's an idiot. It's that she doesn't care. And so, yeah, she comes across as an idiot. But in reality, she's the one who's laughing all the way to the bank. The whole point of her being there is to destroy public education. I mean, that has been her goal since day one. And that's why every time she goes in front of Congress, she doesn't care that she's embarrassing herself. Because that's just one more step towards getting to her real goal, the destruction of public schools. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYTNation.